Whether you are plagued by chronic anxiety or you're only occasionally overcome by that terrible anxious feeling in your gut, everyone knows that anxiety can totally derail your day. It seems that somehow it doesn't matter whether we're freaking out about something as large as the future of humanity or as small as whether or not our new neighbor doesn't like us. The intensity of anxiety isn't always necessarily rationally related to the seriousness of the topic at hand. The Stoics and other Stoic-inspired figures have a lot of useful things to contribute regarding anxiety to help you get your energy back and focus on creating the good life you want to live. What upsets people is not things themselves, but their judgments about these things. If you could change your judgments about the things you're anxious about, can you stop being anxious? Epictetus responds with a resounding yes. Today I escaped anxiety, or no, I discarded it because it was within me, in my own perceptions, not outside. Marcus Aurelius displays here the potential to literally just throw your anxiety away. It isn't something that's happening to you. It's something that's in your mind that you're in control of. If you can control your mind, you can get rid of your anxiety. When I see an anxious person, I ask myself, what do they want? For if a person wasn't wanting something outside of their own control, why would they be stricken by anxiety? We'll hear this sentiment repeated again and again and again in our list of quotes. If you're anxious about something you can control, then fix it. If it's out of your control, then being anxious won't change a thing. Many of the anxieties that harass you are superfluous. Expand into an ampler region, letting your thoughts sweep over the entire universe. It's easy in the modern world to get all bent out of shape about things that really don't matter that much in the grand scheme of things. Zoom out and look at things from a broader perspective and you might just feel your anxiety evaporate. We are more often frightened than hurt, and we suffer more from imagination than from reality. Is it possible that most of the pain we experience is pain that we cause ourselves through fear and anxiety? Does most of our suffering occur due to our visions of what could go wrong rather than our experience of what's actually happening? In many cases, the answer is probably yes. The truth is that there is no actual stress or anxiety in the world. It's your thoughts that create these false beliefs. You can't package stress, touch it, or see it. There are only people engaged in stressful thinking. Wayne Dyer is a self-development speaker and author who was influenced by Abraham Maslow of the Hierarchy of Needs fame and Swami Muktananda. Here he echoes the sentiment of Seneca in the earlier quote, Our stress and anxiety are things that we create and that we allow to injure ourselves. If we can change the way that we look at the world and work to have control over our own minds, 
we can eliminate unnecessary stress and anxiety from our life. Nothing in the affairs of men is worthy of great anxiety. What a lovely little quote from the ancient Greek philosopher Plato. Just like Marcus Aurelius mentioned in an earlier quote, many of the things that we worry about aren't of much great consequence in the grand scheme of things. If you can zoom out in your perspective, you can realize that the things that you are worried about likely aren't that big of a deal, both in your life and from a cosmic perspective. 